Hello again. We're going to get right back to it. There's some more practice exercises here with uh, graphing with intercepts. So let's get right to it. Uh, the x-intercept is 5. The y-intercept is 4. This forms a line with a negative rate of change. Nope. x-intercept is negative 4. y-intercept is 3. This forms a line with a positive rate of change. x-intercept here is negative 3, y-intercept is positive 3. This creates a line with a positive rate of change. x-intercept is 2, y-intercept is 3. No. x-intercept is negative 3, y-intercept is 1. No. X intercept is negative one. Y intercept is four. X intercept is one. Y intercept is five. X intercept is 2, y intercept is negative 2. Oh. X intercept is negative 4, y intercept is positive 1. X intercept is 3, y intercept is positive 3. And the last two, we got x intercept of positive 2 and a y intercept of 5. And the last one, x intercept of negative 3, y intercept of negative 4. There you go. There we go. Again, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, hopefully this answers any questions you might have. See you guys soon. I spelled it right this time. Here we go. I'm proud of myself.